finding the final amount in a word problem on compound interest. So again, unless it says compounded continuously, it's going to be this problem. And mine does not say compounded continuously, it says compounded quarterly, okay? And I just put all of these values here, depending on which one you get for your problem. It may not be compounded quarterly. Your example may be compounded annually or semi-annually or monthly or weekly or daily, okay? So I just wanted to have all of them here just to jog back your memory if it's been a while since you did the previous topic, which was like the introduction to this stuff, okay? So it says, suppose that this much is invested, which means that's what I'm going to start with, which means that's going to be my p-value. At the rate of 4.7%, so that's my r, and if you put it in a decimal, it's 0 0.0. 47. Compounded quarterly means my n equals four times a year. Assume that no withdrawals are made. Find the total amount after 10 years. So my t equals 10 years. And then round to the nearest cent. So let's go ahead and plug in all these numbers. And see what we get and round it to the nearest percent. So we get 3191.23 cents. And that is the final amount after the 10 years.